Hey there guys, Jordan in the Know here, and what I have here for you guys today is probably the most exciting addition to my channel, definitely the most exciting addition to my channel, the Canon T4i. And as of right now, I'm really excited to get into it, I'm really excited to start using it consistently, so let's get into it. So as I said earlier, I'm really excited to get into the Canon T4. I'm excited that I finally have a great camera in order to bring you guys higher quality videos. And that's what I wanted to talk about real quick. The purpose of this camera is only to bring high quality videos. And I know that's a given, but that's the truth. The only purpose of this camera is to bring in high quality video. And what I'm trying to say is that I understand that having a DSLR doesn't magically make me a great YouTuber, that owning a high quality camera doesn't just automatically result in high quality videos, because quality means more than just the video portion of it. The quality is a little bit more than that, and in my opinion anyway, uh, high quality video also is about the information that you present, how you present it, and what's most important to me anyway is what you guys get out of my videos. If you guys don't learn anything from my videos, then my that video, in a sense, in my opinion anyway, was kind of useless. So just understand that I'm trying to base my channel off you guys learning things and let it sort of be a message to you guys out there that that's the purpose of my channel is for you guys to receive valuable information. But back to the camera, this is the Canon T4i. And when I bought this, I only paid around $470, but that's only because I got it used, which is fine with me. Um, as long as it works well, that's all that really matters. The seller said that everything was in great condition besides some marks on the bottom where the tripod was, but we're gonna see for ourselves. So inside, we get the kit 18-55mm to 55 millimeter lens, the strap and cables necessary to upload to a camera, and the manual, which is, for some reason, the Rebel T2 manual, but whatever, it's fine. It's really the less important part of this. I'm especially excited to check out the body, which seems to be in good condition. There are marks on the bottom, like the seller said, and it just looks like a little wear, nothing too serious. And overall, when it's all put together, it looks really nice. Looking over the camera, there's really no defects that I should be worried about. And for a used camera, this doesn't look half bad. It looks clean, and not to mention that the inside of the body looks really cool. And really the whole general body, it doesn't feel too heavy. But to me, it kind of does feel heavy. But that's only because the current camera that I have is really light. Uh, the rest of the body is a really nice sort of leather feeling around, a leather pattern around it, if you will. And... Really, the main reason why I got this is for the swivel LCD and touchscreen. I'm really just kind of annoyed with using the touchscreen on my current camcorder, even though it's just fine. There's really nothing wrong with it. But other than that, yeah, that's really the main reason why I got it. Initially, when I was searching for cameras to buy, I was originally going to go for the T3i, but uh, I heard a lot of stuff about how the T3i doesn't have an input for a microphone, which is wrong because later I did some more research and found out it does. So that was after I bought this. Another reason I bought this was for autofocus. After seeing some videos on it, autofocus isn't really good and I'll probably not use it anyway. And the last reason why I bought this, which isn't really a real reason because I'm just going to switch anyway, is because it has a stereo microphone. Glad that it has a stereo microphone. Even though I'm not going to use it, I'm going to buy my own microphone. So really, as I said, the only real reason that I bought it was for the Swivel LCD, which is fine. Everything here works perfect. But anyways, guys, uh, this camera looks like it's in really good condition. Uh, pretty much no major defects besides, like I said, the tripod marks at the bottom. Not a big deal. Another problem that I had with this deal is that Canon, a few days after I bought this, Canon sold a refurbed T5i, not a, a few refurbed T5i's for around $430 after I bought this for a more expensive $470. Not a big deal. This is still a good camera, and besides that, I read up a lot about how the Canon T4i doesn't have a lot of differences from the T5i, that it's not really that big of an upgrade. So overall, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. In a few days, I'll make a video so that you guys can judge the photo and video quality, and you guys can see for yourself how it is. I'm going to start using this probably 
well, definitely, towards the beginning of 2015, so this gives me enough time between now and 2015 to start learning how to use it, so get used to it, because in 2015, there are going to be a lot of changes on how I present myself and how the channel is going to be presented, for the better, of course, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, this has been Jordan in the Know. Let me know what you think about this less scripted video. Let me know what you guys think. But anyways, guys, this has been Jordan in the Know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.